hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today is christmas eve i'm gonna be doing a little makeup routine um i'm not a fan of this lighting because it's like good so i look bad it's like good so i look ugly because it like brings out all my my flaws i like um dark lighting better actually also i'm like really red right now <laughs> lord i don't know why a little updated makeup routine it's not even updated because I never did really did a makeup routine to begin with. Also, if you see that, if you see a hole in my shirt, just ignore it. Um, everyone's just been dying to see my makeup routine, so I decided to. I'm kidding. Nobody actually cares. Anyways, I'm honestly just gonna get started. I don't even know what time it is, but I already know that I'm just like running late because what am I not? So first thing I do is, God, I do concealer first with these. The eraser ones um i feel like this was something that everyone used in middle school and then they like stopped because they were like this is like probably i don't even know honestly uh anyways that's where i put I have, like a mirror right here so i'm gonna like look at that so i'm not like i'm not like weird i'm just like looking at the mirror um yeah so this is like not really my concealer shade but i'm gonna mix it with a lighter one in a second. I feel like I should have used the lighter one first. Maybe I'm just like stupid right now. I don't know. <sighs> it's hot in here. It's hot in here. It's hot in here. Anyways, I just put it like, you know, the regular concealer spots. Something special. And then I'm going to mix the under eyes. I feel like I put way too much of this dark shade. So you're just going to do your concealer. I feel like I did way too much, first of all. Okay, <laughs> you know what? Um, yeah, so now we're just gonna go ahead and blend that out. I'm really red all the time. Like, I'm extremely red all the time. I don't know what to do about it. I don't even know, like, there's nothing I really can do about it. Because it's been like that. I've been, like, I just, I just get red, like, really easily ever since I was little. I don't know why, but it's like an insecurity of mine. So, like, every time I put on concealer, I just, like, get, like, happy because I'm, like, wow, you can't even, like, really see my redness that much. And it also happens, like, sometimes I really don't feel like wearing makeup to school and then I'm, like, well, I don't want to be, like, red. Because especially in that disgusting school lighting, like, I look, like, red and monster, like, actually, like, a struggle. I'm so excited for Christmas. I can't believe it's tomorrow. It doesn't feel like it. It's tomorrow doesn't feel like it's tomorrow everyone's gonna be doing what i got for christmas and then there's me updated makeup routine <laughs> i feel like i need more chapstick right now i'm like stressed i'm not even stressed i just like don't feel real right now i'm like dissociating what was i do what did i just do okay so after i do my concealer i like to go in with some powder um i use this i don't recommend because somebody said this gives you face cancer or skin cancer so i don't recommend but I'm still gonna use it because... <gasps> oh my god, that just went everywhere. <laughs> Oops. Anyways, when I do powder, I just put it like underneath my freaking thing. My freaking thing. Um, my under eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Put it underneath my under eyes. And then I just like, you know, do the other one. I feel like that literally... <sighs> If I'm being honest, if I'm being completely honest, I don't even know what powder's for. Actually, no, it's to, like, not crease, right? I don't know, actually. Let's let that sit for a minute. Um, I'm, like, on my knees, and it really hurts, but I can't, like, sit down because you can't, like, see me because I'm, like, short. So, do you guys care if I sit, like, on my ass? I love it. I think that is different. All right, so after I let that sit for a minute, I just like go and blend it out, blend it out. I don't even know, like, I feel like I just have to like, I don't know if that even did anything actually, whatever. Next I do, oh God, next, I'm pretty sure this is next, I do bronzer. Um, For my bronzer, I use this. Um, I've had this since middle school. So if anyone knows any good bronzers, can you please, like, recommend because I've been using this since middle school. Anyways, so then I take this brush and make this face. 
you know, I just literally blend like along that line. Sometimes I get stressed because I forget what face I do to do my bronzer. So I'm like, I'll be like getting ready for school and then I'm like, wait, how do, and then I like do a bunch of different faces and I'm like, wait, what was, what's the face I make? And then I get stressed because I'm like, oh, now I'm not going to look good. See, it like takes me a minute to like remember <laughs> what the face is. And so I just like drag it down, like, because I feel like this like lifts my cheekbones low key. I don't actually know. I don't actually know a lot about makeup. I just wing it half the time. <laughs> the fact that this makeup routine is helping no one because I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, see? It creates like a... Okay, now I feel like I did too much. Because like, why is it so noticeable okay anyways now that you do it now that i did it here i'm gonna do it on my forehead so uh yeah i like looking tan and then after i go in with that brush i go in with this like floofy one and i kind of just dab it in there a little dab it I don't even know what the word is, but you know what I mean. I just kind of put it in there a little bit. And then I go in with this one because it's like bigger and easier to work. And then I just go in with that one a little bit down there too. Yeah. And then I kind of just bring it down here a little bit too. Um, What's next actually? Okay, next I take my powder again, my cancer powder. Is that offensive? And then I put it like right here because you see how it's like really orange. So I want to create like a line, like, I don't know how to explain it actually, but I just like want to make like a barrier. I don't really know how to explain it, but you see how it's like, I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. But I feel like if you just get me, you get me. And if you don't, you don't. You know what I'm saying? Great minds think alike. Okay, and then I'm just going to do that over here. I feel like I talk like a 40-year-old woman. No, like a 30-year-old woman. I feel like I talk like a 30-year-old woman. The reason I make these videos is because I love talking to myself. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit like kind of what I'm trying to do. Whatever, then I'm going to let that sit. Okay, next thing I do... I actually have a really funny story to tell. Um, if I can find this freaking brush. Oh. No, that's not right. That's it. Oh, here it is. Okay. So I have a really funny story about nose contour um, and why it's like actually really traumatizing for me. Um, so in middle school, when I was in like freaking like eighth grade in like 2020, I would always be on TikTok. Obviously everyone was on TikTok. Everyone was like online, bored in quarantine, whatever. Um, I like messed that up really badly, whatever. So I'd be like on TikTok and I'd see like, I'd start like, I started getting into makeup a lot in eighth grade. I never really did my makeup before, just like mascara, highlighter for school. And I finally started getting into makeup a little bit. So I'd like watch videos and stuff and I'd see everyone contouring their nose. And I'd be like, oh my God, like I wanna, okay. I messed up really badly, but like usually it looks good. Anyway, so I like started getting into makeup, right? And I'd see all these videos of like people doing their makeup, whatever. And everyone would do nose contour. And I was like, I wanna try nose contour. Like I'm gonna try it. Cause I'd be like experimenting with makeup looks a lot. They were always really ugly, but. I was always like, why don't I know? Why can't I do my makeup? Like, is there something wrong with me? Like, how does everyone look so good and I look disgusting? But it was just like, you just have to learn the techniques. Nobody in middle school knows how to do... <sighs> Nobody in middle school knows how to do their makeup, whatever. I was just like experimenting, having fun, living my best life. And I tried to do nose contour with this exact bronzer. Because I've had this for years. <laughs> and... um. I did it, I would do it, and I'd be like, this is the ugliest thing I've ever done. I can't even, like, this, I can't even leave the house with this. This looks like a mess on my nose. Like, it just, like, it's orange and ugly and disgusting, and it's really just gross. Like, I don't even know how people do this and how they like it. But I just 
later on I realized that I actually was just not doing it right. I did my nose contour and it looks kind of, it usually looks better, but I kind of messed it up today a little bit, but it's fine. And then I go in with this highlight. It's the Benefit Cookie. And it looks like this. I finally got some new highlighter. The other highlight that I was using before it like completely ran out was one also from middle school. And it literally had nothing in it. So I just got a new one actually. And then I just put a highlight in my inner corner. Okay, but I don't make it look like that. <laughs> this may this is so awful. I'm sorry, honestly. I don't always put honestly it just depends on my mood. If I put um highlight in my inner corners, it really just depends on my mood. Because sometimes I don't feel like it, and other times I'm like, yes, of course. Anyways, so I have to blend this out now. And when I do blend this, I kind of just want to make sure like I don't have like a weird orange line so i'm just gonna blend this out like as best as i can i feel like i always have the weird orange line but i feel like it's just always gonna be there because it's like a part of me because i don't really i don't really know how to blend honestly what am i even saying at this point okay so now that i blended that to the best of my ability which is not much clearly <laughs> i'm kidding see i'm so red i don't even have blush on like, what is this blotch of red here? I didn't ask for this. I, if I wanted this, I would have put blush. Like, thanks for nothing. <laughs> God, I don't even... I look like... I look very colorful. Wow. Anyways, now I'm going to blend my nose. Do I want to blend it yet? Do I want to blend it yet? Mm, I'll just blend it. I can't see. Jesus, this lighting is so good that it's like making me blind. Because I can't see actually. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I'm blind. I love it. I think that is different. This lighting makes my nose look disgusting. I'm. This is pissing me off actually. My nose is like cute. Why does it look disgusting? Okay, I'm actually going to move you guys for a second. Just so you can like get a better. See, this lighting is better. The sliding is just so much better. Should I move you guys over here? No, because then I can't like see. God, I'm not this ugly. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's blent out pretty well. And then I'm just going to use my finger to rub out the highlight. <sighs> okay, this lighting is actually making you insecure. <laughs> my nose looks good. It looks like a blob. It looks like a log. It looks like a piece of log on my face and it doesn't look like that in real life anyways the next thing i'm gonna do is my eyebrows and i don't actually do my eyebrows i just brush them out i had a phase where i would like do my eyebrows or what's it called i wouldn't like do them i just like paint them not paint them fill them in i wouldn't even fill them in i just like girl make up your mind <laughs> i would just like ah i don't know but i would use like the coloring thing Whatever, I don't do that anymore. I just brush them because my eyebrows are like pigmented and they're big and I don't need, I don't need. Yeah, one thing about me is I have a really gorgeous, beautiful eyebrow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's pretty much what I usually do for my base. And you're probably like, um, you're not gonna put on blush. No, I'm not gonna put on blush because I hate blush. I don't like to use blush because I just don't like how it looks on me. I'm already, I look like I'm wearing blush. Imagine all the comments. No, you don't. You're really ugly. Um, <laughs> I feel like I already don't. I just don't need blush, I feel like. And the bronzer already gives me enough color in my face. And I already have enough color because I'm always red. So I don't need blush. And I'm not going to put some on because it makes me insecure. Okay? Anyways, let's move on to eyes, which is my favorite part. So this is pretty much all I'm going to do for my base. And then I'm going to do lips too, but we'll get to that in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do for my eyes is use this blush. I use the Morphe Cream Blush in the shade Perk Up. Imagine I just like, imagine that's not the shade. I think it is. Or is it Rosy Wishes? It's either Rosy Wishes or Perk Up. I think it's Perk Up. Rosy Wishes is probably something else. I don't know. But anyways, I'm just going to put some of that on my finger. And then I'm going to put it on my eyelid. Wow, I used a lot. But I'm going to put that on my eyelid. 
And the reason I do this, I used a lot on that finger, so I'm gonna just like mix it to both. Reason I do this is I like to give that myself that like dead, half dead look. I started doing this because I wanted to do the half dead look makeup. Um, but I actually really like how this looks, so I just keep doing it like in my regular makeup routine. Okay, so that's kind of the pink on my eyelid. It's not very vibrant. That's the thing, like it's not very vibrant. So I always get like insecure and then I put more. That's the first thing I do to my eyes. And then um, I go in with this. So I have a new one and I have an old one, but I'm not using the new one yet. I'm just saving it for when this one runs out. So this is the smoky. I'll just like show you what it looks like. I don't think anyone really cares or wants to use it because I'm kidding feel bad um anyways so i use this underneath my eye and you'll see what i do in a second i used to put it on my waterline but i didn't like how it looked so i stopped doing that and now i just put it like right underneath my waterline oh and then i drag it out to create this like little mini eye liner i don't know i kind of just drag it out like straight out and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. So one clearly looks better than the other. But my, anyways, my favorite part, this comes with a little smudging thing and I just like smudge it. Okay, so now both of these are like fully smudged, <clears throat> I think. So after I smudge that, that's pretty much all I do in my eyes. And then <sighs> I'm going to do my lips. Usually I do my mascara before my lips, but I'm just going to do my lips right now. Because my mascara is the longest part. It takes me like, my mascara takes me a good eight minutes. Yeah, a good eight minutes because it's just like the time I take the most, like the part I take the most, the part I take, the part I take my time with the most. So for my lips, I use the Superstay Ink Crayon Maybelline. Yeah. I overline a little bit. Because, honestly, I don't even like overlining a lot. Anyways, so I do that, and then I kind of just leave it there. And I do- Oh, that came flying right back at me. <laughs> I do, like, um, chapstick, lip gloss, if I have any. Anyways, now I'm going to move on to mascara, which is the best, most important part. And I have a very long technique routine. I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'd usually do mascara off camera, but my routine is very, very specific. So before I go in with my newer one, I'm going to go in with my old one. My oldest, my very old one that's like pretty much dry and desiccated and like, it doesn't like, it doesn't work like actual mascara. It's just like fucking basically primer. It's basically primer. And what you do with this is you kind of just put it like everywhere over the lashes. You kind of just put it everywhere. You can be like, it's whatever you don't use technique for this part and then i'm gonna go in with my other eye and do the same thing i am gonna get a lot on my eyelid so if that bothers you don't even look because it's gonna be bad <laughs> so when i feel like i've done enough with the primer i'm gonna go in with my newer mascara and i'm just gonna like actually do my mascara so what you want to do <laughs> my advice is you start from like the bottom and you kind of just like, you know what I mean? You kind of just start from the bottom and then like, whatever, kind of just brush them out. But my number one thing that I do is I just like brush it along the tips, which makes them like extra long. Right now that I've kind of finished my top lashes, I go in with my bottom lashes. I used to be a bottom eyelash hater. I used to like hate it. I never did it, but I kind of messed that up a little bit, but whatever. Now that I started doing it, I actually like it a lot. I like what it adds. I feel like it adds a little something special. Anyways, that's pretty much it for my makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed the process of how we got here. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, whatever it is for you. Thanks for watching.